January 6th hearings continue tonight, again getting primetime coverage on all the networks. The hearings are focusing on the actions of former President Trump while the United States Capitol was under attack. Seven people died during those riots. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, Alabama Congressman Jerry Carl is watching these proceedings very closely. That's right, Congressman Jerry Carl says January 6th was a bad day and an embarrassing day for the country. January 6th, a day filled with chaos and destruction. We had a handful of people that tore things up that we need to take care of. We need to prosecute them. Tonight will be the eighth hearing held by the select committee investigating the January 6th attack. Congressman Carl says he stands by former President Donald Trump and his administration. The Democrat Party, this is one of the few things that they can use to get attention uh, in their mind, which is a positive thing, tearing Trump down. I've never tried to accelerate myself by tearing somebody else down. The hearing tonight will focus on the former president's actions during the three-hour riot outside and inside the Capitol. Testimony has revealed the former president failed to take action to stop the violence. Mr. Trump says he did nothing wrong. Carl was at the Capitol on that day. When I turned the corner and I, and I saw the people being pushed against the glass, my first reaction was to go talk to them and try to talk them down. And, and I didn't. I, 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 I did like everyone else and I followed what I was told to do. But, but in reality, I keep asking myself, what if I would have went back and talked to them? It's easy to second guess in a situation like that, you know, what other people did right and what people did wrong. Carl says Mr. Trump's actions that day were, quote, questionable at best. But again, you, you're, you're questioning after the fact, and I just find that unfair. The committee's focus at the hearing today will be on the 187 minutes that elapsed between President Trump's speech at 1 o'clock p.m. when he told his supporters to go to the Capitol to right after 4 o'clock p.m. when the president released a video telling his supporters to leave the Capitol. The hearing will be on tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. You can watch it here on NBC 15. Kim.